Hey everybody, this is Beauty Holly coming at you with another cooking video. I am making Salisbury steak with gravy, onion, onion gravy. Um, you saw the ground beef and I didn't use both packages. I used a package and a half. Um, I used extra virgin olive oil, beef broth, and this Wondra flour is awesome for gravies and sauces. So this is real easy uh, to use. I love this flour. Seasonal, uh, sea salt, total seasoning. I love this season seasoning. Garlic and pepper and black pepper. I also use Worcestershire sauce. And I also use uh, breadcrumbs. That's the binder for the ground beef, along with two eggs. And yes, I use both onions. So again, I am making Salisbury steak. This is my baby girl's favorite meal. She loves it. And I paired it up with uh, rice and cabbage. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So here is my meat and here I'm just going to be adding all the ingredients to the meat and again the eggs and the um, the uh, breadcrumbs is like a binder to hold the meat together. So I'm going to go ahead and warm up my skillet for the meat so I'm putting some olive oil in there and I put the uh, heat on medium uh, high or on medium. And so now I'm just adding all the seasonings and everything to it, to the meat. And this is, uh, this recipe I don't fix a whole lot, but um, I've decided to fix it today. Just try to do something different for Sunday dinner. So my family loved it. It was, it was a great uh, dinner. So again, I'm just adding everything to it and so now I am using my hands to just mix everything together in the meat and I'm going to add these onions and just mix everything up okay so now I'm going to be making patties and I put a hole in the center so that it won't the meat won't shrink or you know you know how sometimes your patties they shrink on you so now the patties are done they're brown they're not done they're brown on each side so what I'm gonna do is transfer these patties to a roasting pan I usually fix it in the skillet but I didn't do that this time because I had too many patties so what I decided to do was to uh, mix put every all the patties into a roasting pan and I poured the gravy over it and baked them in the oven for on 325 for about an hour to make sure that the meat was well done. Um, yes, this is just brown. They're not done. So now I'm just scraping up all the goodies from the bottom of the pan and I'm adding my beef broth and I'm in, I'm in the process of making the gravy. And this is the flour, which is really easy to use. Y'all see my daughter over there. She's looking a hot mess. <laughs> She's eating uh, some chicken. She couldn't wait for the dinner to be ready. So, again, I'm just mixing everything um, together. I'm getting a whisk out to just whisk it all. Um, and you kind of have to eyeball it as to how you want your, your gravy to be. I want mine not to be too thick I want it or not too runny. I want it to be in between. So um, I just add things as I go. I add flour. If it's too thick, then I add more beef broth to it until I get it just right. So again, you just want to scrape up all those goodies from the bottom which helps season, season the gravy. So there I am again adding more beef broth to it. And I'm just steady whisking making sure that the flour doesn't cake up or anything like that. So now I'm going to add some more onions and these are ring onions. Um, I added that to it. And 
and I'm just mixing it all together put the onions in there again I said this was onion gravy onion brown gravy and uh, just mixing it and season it you want to season your your gravy too you know you don't want bland seasoning or you don't want it to taste like flour so you want to season it so I don't know what I'm doing here but um, I'm getting everything um, together to pour the there you go getting my pan together to pour the meat in I'm putting the meat in the pan now and then I'm just going to pour the gravy over it. And I had two batches of meat that I had to cook. So that was a lot of patties. See that? That's a lot of patties. So I couldn't cook them all in the skillet. So I just put them in a roasting pan. And uh, baked them in the oven. So I just pour all that over the meat. And there you go and so I'm gonna put a top over it and I'm gonna put it in the oven for an hour on 325 and this is the this is the final this is what it looks like after baking for about an hour and uh, it was really good it had a lot of gravy in it and uh, it was at the bottom you can see the gravy and the onions it was really really good and it real easy to make and this is the finished product that's the uh, cabbage I made and I also made rice uh, made rice as well for the gravy so this is our Sunday dinner I really appreciate y'all spending time with me um, if you like more of these videos please thumbs up this video I really enjoy cooking for y'all and I hope you enjoy this video see you in the next video bye